What's up guys, we're back here pushing for our daily crown chest, so we're going to go with 10 crowns. This is the deck we're utilizing here, a hog giant push. You can see it's all commons and rares, no epic cards in here whatsoever. So a very free to play friendly deck. We just got our hog up to level 6. It does cost 4.1 elixir. We're right around the 2100 trophy range. So let's see how this deck operates, if we can win with it. Can we go undefeated here in the daily series? Maybe I should have, uh, yeah, I probably should have just hold it off there. So we're trying to fireball as soon as possible there to get some damage off on the barbarians. Because no matter what, we're going to fireball those. We don't have any other defenses against the minion horde. So let's kind of mirror him there with a giant in the background. I wonder if he's going giant hog push as well. Yep, giant hog push as well. So that's a very strong push right there because one arrow is going to take all that stuff out. He did a lot of damage there. Thankfully, we have the spear goblins in the back. Yeah, he's taking a commanding lead on us here. Hog's going to get a couple hits. So he is using the Jason deck. Really like that split attack that he did there. That was very nicely done. I'm actually surprised that the uh, Hog Barbarians didn't kill the tower. Like, we got so lucky that the Spear Goblins were in the back. Just gonna try and deal with the hog first. He threw his arrows early, so we're now we're gonna drop our minion horde. Let's drop another giant up there. And this is where the fireball is gonna shine here. We have a fireball versus his arrows. We're able to take down his barbarians and take down his tower right here with our giants game over gg arrows lose the fireball every single time well wow, super lag spike there look at that a three second lag spike i mean it i wonder nope oh wow oh, so close oh wow he actually took down our tower there i didn't even notice he took down our tower and we're still lagging like crazy. Oh my gosh. I thought that game was over already. Almost lost it right there. Because I thought the game was over. It really did. Three crowns though. Start opening that guy. Well, I wonder if it's the game. So is the servers having a lot of trouble for you guys? Or is it just my connection? Lag definitely kills. One second or two second delay is just... It's almost unbearable in this game. Because everything is timing based. So the cool thing with that, most likely they arrow it as well. So we cleaned up everything and then we made them waste their arrows. Now we have a nice push going up there. He's got a bomber. Which is going to do a little bit of damage. But he's going to target the hog there. So we should be fine. We're going to fireball that. The bomber's dead. 
Minion Horror is going to do some work, but we're going to hit that tower up there. Let's drop some archers, clean that horde up. You can see it's a very strong deck here. And here comes the lag spikes again. So we'll drop the giant in the back and continue our push on the other tower now. This one, Fireball. That tower is down. We're able to take care of the Musketeer with our Barbarians. And now it's 30 seconds left. Can we take down the King Tower as well? We're going to drop the Horde on the left, clean up some of that stuff, make him waste his arrows. Throw the Hog Rider. We're going to give him that tower. We don't care about that tower whatsoever. And nope, still can't take down the King Tower. Wow, we're getting really lucky here. Our lag spikes are going like crazy. Two matches and we're already at five crowns halfway. To our crown chest. So excited. The crown chest is going to get a, a double increase in cards. In the update on Tuesday. So I like to drop the collector in the middle to alert the hogs. Drop the archers in the back there. So just in case they arrows or something crazy like a rocket. It doesn't kill the archers as well. At that point, we're just going to leave it be. Save up for our actual real push. And I'll start our giant push here on the left. He does have a zap, so we're going to kind of wait for the zap there on the drop. No arrows coming out of him there. That's going to clean up the bomb tower for us. Really nice. Can we get lucky? Oh, yeah. Got lucky. Hit all of those minions. I think this tower is in deep trouble here. We should be able to take it down with this hog giant push. Oh, yeah. Easily taking that down. He's going to try and take down our tower. He's actually going to get it, but I think... With all this DPS, we have enough to take down his King's Tower, actually, here. Look at them go. They're just chopping away. King's Tower is down. No defense. We are now one match away from going undefeated on our crown ch chest. And a 4-0 victory streak. Can we pull it off? Can we get one more game here with this giant hog deck? So again, we'll drop the collector in the beginning. We're gonna let those guys just go. Give us a two, or you know, kind of catch up our elixir here because we wasted five on the collector. Splitting up those troops. He's wasting a lot of firepower there. We're actually almost full. So let's go ahead and drop a giants. And then we'll do a minion push. Because I was happily expecting him to throw minions out to defend the giants. Oh, that was a mistake on the fireball there. Wrong choice. We got one minion alive doing some work. We caught up almost on tower damage. Very nice. Drop in our second collector. Put a 
I uh, should have put it on the other side, actually. Take it down! Alright, one hit from the Hog Rider, not bad at all. And he has a wizard, so a wizard and a bomb tower, that's going to shred our barbarians. Let's drop the archers way in the back. Oh no, we split the archers! That's not good. Yeah, total waste on the archer. We're gonna get the double over or double energy right now, so let's drop the horde there. And then now we have raid. Oh man, look at the hog. Almost full HP there. Oh, this is it, guys. We are gonna crush this tower. We are making a beeline for the kings. Doesn't look like we have enough power. Actually, all our guys got shredded by that wizard. Wow, 1,500, 1,400, 1,300. We are getting dangerously close on that king's tower. Throwing the giant up there. Let's continue. We have 30 seconds left. And he is going, we're going to give him his hog, and we're going to take down the King's Tower again for a 3-0 victory in our Daily Crown Chest. An undefeated streak here to get our Daily Crown Chest. Very solid deck. Definitely recommend checking this one out. Open this bad boy up here. See, can we get an epic? Or can we even get a legendary? It'd be so cool to pull a legendary card. The next update, the legendary cards you're going to be able to purchase from the shop for 40,000 gold. Insane amount of gold right there. You're going to be able to get a little bit more gold in game, so that's going to help. But still, 40,000 gold, that's insanity right there. It does help that our hog is level 6, and our barbarians are level 8, and our spear goblins are level 8. So, upgrading your cards is very, very important. Our hog has a lot more life now. He does a lot more damage. Just overall better. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more Clash Royale content.